Do you want to learn everything about trading on Buak? Well then this video is perfect for you. So we are over here on my first testing grounds and I'm gonna show you all the raiding gear on the map first though. So you can craft raiding gear using sulfur but that is topic for completely another video. Now there is dynamite explosive explosive ammo. The explosive ammo can be found only in airdrops and in the dead zone. So any of these can only be found there. You can craft a spud cannon which is a rocket launcher but we'll get to it later and C4. So this is the main raid gear on the map. Now for structure health, all the wooden types have exactly the same health as each other. So a wooden doorway for example would be 6000 HP, same for this one and this one. The door or hatch or whatever, they have 3000 health and the chests have 100 health. Now over here we have the stone and iron. The stone doorway, wall, roof, they all have 10,000 health. The iron barricade, which is like door, hatch and so on, they have 5000 health. The iron crate however has 550 HP. And now we're over to titanium. Titanium door has 10,000 so that would be door, garage door, hatch and so on, shutter. The doorway, the roof, the walls and so on have 20,000 health. The crate has 1,000 health and that's about structure health and barricade health. Now we'll get over to the raiding gear. So we are here on my testing grounds number 2 and we will start off with the revolver. Now the revolver ammo box has 120 rounds in it, the revolver itself can carry 6 only and the revolver actually does 15 structure damage and 15 barricade damage. Now we are moving on to the next which is the Avenger or the Swift ammo. The ammo box has 200 rounds and the pistol ammo has 17 in it. The swift ammo does 10 explosive damage to structures and barricades. Going on to the next, which is the typewriter. It has 200 in the box again and it can carry out 17 rounds. Uh, this was damaged before. The typewriter does 10 structure and 10 barricade damage. Moving on to the rifles now, we have the Jimmy rifle. It carries out 5 rounds and this actually does 15 structure damage and 15 barricade. Moving on to the Night Raider, the box is 250 rounds, the Night Raider can carry out 30 and the Night Raider itself does 15 structure and 15 barricade. Going on to the next one, which is the Zubek. The Zubek has 215 in the box, 13 in the magazine again, because it's rifle ammo. And the Zubek Nakov does 15 structure and 15 barricade. Now we have the Eagle Fire, which once again uses rifle ammo box. And the Eagle Fire itself does 15 structure and 15 barricade. Now we have the snipers, we get to the good stuff, finally. The um, Timberwolf uses rifle ammo box again. And it does exactly 20 structure and 20 barricade. It has 250 box, same as the previous ones, but this does 5 more structure damage. And the same goes for the Grizzly itself. It does 20 structure and 20 barricade. So it is very worth it to use Grizzly or a Team Roof in Raid, but all the guns that you're gonna use actually need to get repaired, so be careful with what you do because you can lose your gun. Now, we have the... I'm gonna quickly drop this here. We have the Dynamite, which can be crafted using... Uh, one stack of gunpowder, eight paper, one rope, one duct tape, and it gives you one Dynamite explosive. I'm gonna throw it quickly here. The dynamite explosive have, has got 40 structure and 40 barricade damage. So it's almost nothing. 
it's not worth to use it for almost anything. Now we are moving on to the spot cannon, which is the rocket launcher. It's loaded with hot potatoes. Now, in order to craft a hot potato, you need one potato, one dynamite explosive, and four sacks of gunpowder. It gives you one hot potato, and to craft a spot cannon, you need six, uh, six polymer, two pristine gun parts, one duct tape, one fork, and one hot potato. It gives you one spot cannon, which is not loaded, so you're actually using one hot potato ready for nothing. Mm. And the spot launcher actually does 250 uh, structure and barricade damage. Now we're moving on to the C4s finally. So first off, we're gonna craft a detonator, and in order to do that we need 4 polymer, 1 sack of electrical components, 6 copper, 2 batteries, and it gives you a remote detonator. Now for the C4 itself, we need 4 stacks of gunpowder, 6 dynamite, 2 stacks of uh, electrical components, 4 polymer, 10 nuts and bolts, a stack of copper, and a duct tape. And that gives you an explosive charge. You can switch between the two modes, whether you want to place it or throw it. I'm gonna get all these C4s and we're gonna test them out. So remember, the C4 does 4000 structure and 4000 barricade damage. It's a lot. I would recommend always going through the doors, no matter what you raid. I mean, if the base is really big and it's honeycomb, then maybe skip the doors, but I'm just saying the doors are like half the HP of the structure, so it's gonna save you C4s. Long spam. So we're gonna start off with throwable C4. I'm gonna craft a few. And I'm gonna start throwing them on this wall and we'll see what happens. It should take five to blow it up. And that was five and the wall is 1% HP. The reason for that is because the C4 does exactly 4000 damage and this was the throwable one. So it has a bit of gap between the wall itself and this, uh, the C4. So it doesn't do the exact 4000 damage. Now the same issue was on Arid, where the breaching C4 would do 800 damage and the brick wall would be 800. So when you throw it, it's gonna leave the brick wall on very low, like 1% or 1 HP or whatever. So I hope that the C4 is gonna get buffed by 50 or 100 damage so that there won't be such issue. Now we're gonna throw the placeable C4, which shouldn't work this way. But yeah, it still does, so you're gonna have to finish it off with something. That's why I just recommend going through the doors themselves, because it's gonna take you way less. As you can see. It's gonna be only like 3c4 or 2c4 and a bit of explosive damage uh, ammo. And it broke. This floor was like low health, so... So, I recommend usually using a few c4s and then using any of the sniper arm, uh, rifles. But remember, you will need to repair them. Uh, I'm on easy mode right now, so... I can't repair them. But yeah. Mixing this with C4s would be your best choice for raiding. 